Tef grass originated from Ethiopia and is a staple crop for farming communities in the arid and semi-arid regions of the country. It can be grown and adapts to a wide range of altitudes from sea level up to 3,000 meters above sea level as well as different agroecological zones. The crop also thrives well in areas with rainfall as little as 300 millimeters and in temperatures of 15 to 35 degrees Celsius and on various soils. It has a reasonable tolerance to both low and high moisture stresses. It is therefore a reliable, low-risk catch at times when other crops such as maize and sorghum fail due to adverse weather events making it a crop of all time. Parts of northern Kenya also grow tef as an extension of Ethiopia and uh, most varieties come from there but there are varieties grown by farmers. When we looked at the crop and its potential importance in the communities, mainly in Masabit County, uh, we were able to get some varieties from farmers from Masabit County and uh, we started the research to evaluate and uh, develop good varieties which can grown in grown by farmers from that area and also other parts of Kenya. Despite this, the crop is barely known and for the few farmers producing TEF, they are faced with a myriad of challenges including poor markets and marketing information systems and limited knowledge on its management. This is the first time we are going to release varieties for the farming communities in Kenya and through that we are going to also to have a, a good seed system whereby farmers can access improved seed of the improved varieties, quality seed of the improved varieties, so that they can increase their yield. And also it needs, to, it needs only rain for one, one month to be able to yield. And within two months, 60 days, you are able to harvest. So we'll take upon ourselves as CARO through our mechanization, uh, Amri, our agricultural mechanization institute, which is in Katumani, to be able to come up with ma machines and mechanized turf farming, starting from planting to harvesting. Calro has deployed resources to develop intervention strategies to upgrade the value chain through development of 10 high-yielding turf varieties, which include Marsabit 1, Marsabit 2, Lusike White, Kistef 1, Isla Red, Kim 1 and Kim 2, Kistef 2, Keep 26 and Keep 27, which are in the process of registration following validation trials in parts of northern Kenya. Some of the pra uh, good agronomic practices for this step, we have go we have packaged good planting technologies. The seed rate for TEF is four kilograms to six kilograms per acre. That is what farmers will be using. They can even use less, but because seed has very small seed, uh, that is what a farmer can do, can, can work with for now. The other thing is spacing. Most farmers do broadcasting. Broadcasting does not give good use, because when they broadcast, weeding is, is very difficult. And then there is that competition of growth. Currently, there is a search for new taste and new culinary sensations in food industries of affluent nations. Towards this end, Calro is researching on diversification of TEF food products to meet consumer tastes. In the TEF farming communities, they ground into flour. They mainly don't use the whole grain, they ground in flour. They have several food, food products, but they mainly have one which they like most, they, they call it anjera. In some places it's called injera. It's a fermented pancake, if I can say. It's like a fermented pancake. That's the main food which is made from teff. But also through diversification and food uh, uh, value addition. Actually in Kenya, we are, uh, in Karo, we are coming up with a uh, value addition manual for teff. We have been able to come up with more than 20 value added food products from teff. Calro is therefore emphasizing on delivery of practical benefits of TEF value chain to farmers to secure their food and nutritional security.